Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 34. In this XAR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over the differences between saving in the XAR file format versus exporting to the HTML format. Now, don't worry if you don't fully understand what I mean. I'll give you a brief overview of the main differences between those two files and how it will affect you in terms of how you manage your website. And if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just draw some random objects into our workspace. And the reason for that is we just want to have something that we can save and show the purpose of the different file formats that we can deal with in terms of saving or versus exporting a, um, HTML to the HTML format. So go ahead and go to your toolbar here and just go ahead and pick any quick shape and you can just kind of draw on your screen here and I'm going to give a, a few different quick shapes on the screen here and I'm going to give them different colors you don't have to but in this case I am just to so that we can see the uh, the different I'm sorry I actually didn't select the right object here I accidentally drew another square there but yeah okay now I got it changed there a little bit so we're going to make a few different color shapes in our workspace and we're also going to add a little bit of text so go to your text tool and draw a text area and I'm going to write this is a tutorial on how to export to HTML format versus saving as an Xara file format and that's what this tutorial is all about so I'm going to write that in select my selection tool so it deselects the text and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this file and I'm going to save it to an area using my my computer as the reference point and I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a moment here uh, first off let's go to my computer if you go to your start menu and you left click on that you'll see that you have an option for my computer and it's right here if you don't see that there I'm not sure where you have yours at but it should be there if you're using Windows XP and that's the folder that I went to if you left click on that it will bring up this particular folder and what I did is I went to owners documents which is I'm the owner on the computer so this is where all my files would be saved and what we're going to do is we're going to create a separate folder by right clicking going to new left click on the folder icon and we'll name this file Xar documents and that's all we need to call it so once you make that folder this is where we're going to save our Xara file format you can save it anywhere on your computer you don't have to follow where I I decided to put mine but I'm creating this folder because this is where I want to save my Xara file format so let's go ahead and go back to Xara web designer and we're going to go ahead and go to file save as to save the file and we're going to go to the option that says my computer you'll see that on the left hand menu here there's a few different options you want to choose the one that says my computer so once you choose my computer you'll see a series of folders you'll see the one that I showed you earlier owners documents level left click on that it'll bring up another series of folders and we're going to look for the one that says XAR documents and we're going to double click on that and it'll open that folder and we're going to save this as uh, give it a file name as such as um, XAR file format and you can name it whatever you want it you can name it you know version zero one of our website if you wanted to so this is the first version I'm actually I'm going to save it as version zero one but before I do that you'll see that the next menu below says save as type and it mentions XAR web designer premium and then dot web so it's saving this website file in the XAR file format so let's go ahead and left click and hit save now let's go ahead and close this particular document and I'm going to actually close out an old file I had open before I do that but we're gonna now we can go ahead and close version 01 if you left click on this X it'll close that document and if you go back to where we saved our file in my documents if you go to XAR documents and you'll see version 1 is there and you get a nice little preview here 
if you look at this menu on the side showing the document that we just were editing if you double left click on that it's going to reopen that file in XAR exactly how we had it and if we make some more changes let's say we rotate one of the rectangles and we maybe move this rectangle down and we go to file and then save because we already saved as we don't need to make another copy unless we plan on making some edits that we don't want uh, to be lost then we use the save as option to save another copy with the different changes but in this case we're not making anything significant in terms of changes so we just hit the save button and if we close this file again and we go to XAR documents with it where we got from ah my words are getting messed up here if you go to my computer like we did before click on owners documents go to XAR documents you'll see that the file is there version 01 with the changes that we made if you look at the preview if we double left click on that it will bring up that file again so hopefully you're understanding the concept behind you know saving it in the type of file format the reason that we can open that file is because it's an XR file format and I'll show you what I mean if you look at what it says it says version 01 XR web document and that means that it's a web document that the program can recognize that we can reopen and re-edit so just think of it as like this when you save in the XR web designer file format it's specifically for editing your website again so anytime you want to make sure that you're able to go back at a later date and make modifications to your website you have to save it as the XR web document type if you don't do that you're not going to be able to open it with XR and make edits to it. And I'll show you what I mean when I go over the HTML stuff. So now you know how to save it in the XR Web Designer format. And you should already have a brief understanding of how to save anyway because that was a previous tutorial a while ago. But let's go ahead and go back to XR Web Designer. Now we're going to export this to the HTML format. And what that means is it's exporting to what's called hypertext markup language and basically in a nutshell if you if you read through the words text is the essential part of it and any text or content that you have on your XR web designer file is going to export it to that file format HTML which is the standard for reading your website in a web browser like this XR file you can't open it in a web browser if you try to go to your XR documents and then you know you go to open with and you try to open it with like maybe Firefox I'll show you. you don't have to know how to do this but I'm gonna try to open it with Firefox which is a web browser it will not show you the website it will force you to open it with web designer premium and as you can see it brings a prompt up that tells me hey you have chosen to open this file which is a XR web document so you can't open it and preview it with your web browser because it's an XR web designer file format hopefully that makes sense to you so I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to open that because it's not possible to open it with the with the web browser so let's go back to XR web designer again and let's go to file and then let's go to export website you'll see an option there that tells you to do so and this is going to export to that HTML format that I was telling you about and we're going to go to my computer and we're going to go to that same folder I'm going to go to owners document which I just did and then go to XR documents double left click that and we're going to hit the export option here in a moment and if you look at the save as type it says website HTML and we're exporting it to the hypertext markup language and again what that means is you're exporting the text and content such as like your images or pictures you know objects anything in your XR web document that you were working on we're now about to export it to the standard format that is necessary to view your website on the internet so let's go ahead and hit export leaving it set to index as the file name and hit export and you don't want to change that file file name that we saw just there in a the moment an index file because that file is required for your website to display cor correctly on the internet or to function correctly I should say so never change the file name format when you're exporting by default it should be indexed if it's not that means you did something wrong within your XR web designer document when you designed your website most likely you, you named your home page the wrong thing but that's another story in another situation so I'm not going to go into that 
but now that we've explored it let's go back to that XAR documents folder and you'll see now that we have two files here or I should say a folder in a file you'll see one that says index htm underscore files this is everything that's in your website and then we have an index page which has all the markup language in order to display all the objects and images that are inside this index HTML HTM underscore files folder and if you double left click on that you'll see there's some images in here if you left click on any of these objects you'll see that there's some of the images that we were working with in the document and as you can see in the preview at the bottom here that it changes based on which object I select so this folder holds all the images that you have and all the other stuff that is required to display your your website correctly and the other file that we have here is the index file and this has all your text and stuff in it so the HTML file format is actually more than just one file it's actually a combination of files that work together and as you can see here we have the index page and we have the folder that has all the pictures and all the other technology and programming that's required to display your website correctly but don't worry if you don't fully understand that just know that anytime you export it's multiple files that you will have to have in order to show your website correctly but let's double click on the index file and this is going to show us the website and as you can see what we were working on is now displayed in Firefox because that's my default browser so that's one that it pops up in you'll see that we have all the rectangles and the text that we originally had and if you look at the address bar up here you can see that it's referencing a space on my hard drive which in this case is uh, file C colon documents settings owners my documents XR documents index.htm so it's referencing that file on my computer we're not actually viewing this on the internet it's just on my computer so this file is specifically made to open with a web browser which is why it display unlike the XR web designer file format it did not display because it's not designed to be open in a web browser it's only designed to be open in the XR software so I'm sorry if this tutorial seems like I'm repeating things a lot but it's very important that you understand the differences and I'm going to show you the next reason why it's really important let's go back to our XAR documents folder if you tried to open this file by right clicking on it and going open with and well it's not in here I'm going to go to choose program so we can choose the XAR program file and if you look for the XAR web designer premium program on your computer and you click OK and you try to open that watch what happens you notice that we get something that doesn't look like our website we've got a bunch of squares that are folded on top of one another it doesn't look correct that's because the, it's not in the XAR web designer file format and you'll notice that we don't have any of the text that we originally had in the original web designer file that's because this program is not designed to open HTML files it's designed to open XAR web designer files only don't get me wrong you can you can get some of the things to import properly when you try to open it but in general you're not going to be able to get the full accurate design of your website and you may have to rebuild the whole thing so it's very important that you save in the XAR web designer file format or something like this will happen where you'll have to recreate your whole website over or you won't actually be able to import anything from your old website so only export to the HTML format for the site that when you're done and you're ready to put it on the internet but also always make sure that you save a copy of the, the file as an XAR web designer file first and then export to HTML so always save your file as an XAR web designer file first and then export to HTML like we just did and if you go to the XAR documents folder you'll see that we both have the exported part of the website which are these two first things here the the index file and the folder and if you got a bigger website you'll have more pages and you'll, you should see some kind of icon and it'll have the name of the page in this case we only did one page so you'll see index but you should always have at least one XAR file which you can see is represented by this W and a pen you should always have this file and you should always have an HTML file 
well, you don't always have to have the HTML file. The HTML file is when you're ready to put your your website on the internet. But you should always at least have an Xar Web document file. That way you can go back in and make edits to your design. So let's explain the differences between saving as the Xara file format versus exporting to HTML. Again, I hope that wasn't too confusing. If it was, just simply send me a message on, on YouTube and I'll do my best to try to explain it. It's not the easiest thing to explain to you, especially if you're not familiar with, with HTML. I'm sorry, I'm burping there a little bit. But if you're not familiar with HTML, it may be a little confusing. So don't feel bad if you have a question. Just go ahead and send me one and I'll, I'll try to answer your questions for you. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped you to understand the differences between uh, exporting to HTML versus saving your file as a XR Web Designer web document. Again, thanks for viewing this tutorial and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful and also subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for future tutorials.